I've always had this thought about time, and I've never been able to truly articulate it. And if you don't mind me just speaking very candidly, I don't exactly feel like being overly animated tonight. But I think something that was, that's always been rather fascinating to me is that I have no interest in working with children being like a teacher or something like that, or just being around kids in general. But the thought of being a part of somebody's childhood always felt so special to me. Because I think about every single thing that was a portion of my childhood, and it will forever and ever, no matter what, it will always have a tender spot in my heart. Like, let's think about television shows. Lizzie McGuire, uh, The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. Um, Just think about any shows. And when you look them up online, you'll see, oh, this show started in 2001 and it ended in 04. Oh, this show started in 05 and ended in 08. These shows probably had about like three years on air, yet they feel like they were there for so much longer. It always blows my mind when I think of a show and I look up how long it was on air for. Only one season. I look up how long, only three only on air for three years, four years. And when I think about like how obsessed I was with this show or this movie, this whatever it may be, it was, it felt like my whole world surrounded it. I think about time now, three years ago, you want to know it's crazy? In a couple months, three years ago is going to be 2021. I genuinely cannot tell you anything that happened in 2019, I think about my life, and I wouldn't say anything's changed in my life, like 2020 to to current. Until recently, I wouldn't say anything's changed in my life until 2023. It's like life is kind of this three three year pattern for me. Like three to four year pattern for me. I remember I used to go to the school and they sectioned off the elementaries by three years. So like first, so it was lower elementary in one classroom and upper elementary in a different classroom. And lower elementary was first, second and third grade. And upper elementary was fourth, fifth and sixth. And so it was like three years in lower, three years in upper And then you had two years in middle school and then four years in high school and four years in college and then life. I think I I always kind of think about like, what is life going to be like after college? That is that is a very big fear of mine. That is a very big. I'm just like. I know whatever job I get, I don't want it to be something that I dread. Like, I don't want to wake up every single day and hate what I have to do to live, essentially. I know I want priority in life. I don't want to wake up and feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over again. I've recently started to make an effort in documenting a lot of what goes on in my life, either through pictures or through my diary that I write in sparingly from time to time. And I think it's lovely. I think it's lovely that I can have this piece of me that I can, oh my gosh, that's, (laughs) oh, sorry, I'm, I recorded a video like a few days ago that somebody might get that reference. Anyway, shout out to... Ashley Simpson, I've actually just forgotten what I was even talking about. (laughs) Hold on a second. Oh, I was talking about making memories uh, currently in college. Because, you know, looking back at the past, you look at it with rose-tinted glasses. I always talk about how much I love the 2000s. I mean, of course, who doesn't, who isn't an advocate for the decade that they, that they were born in? Uh, (laughs) 
<laughs> let's not make this into a, like a justice video where I go off the rails. But the only people who are ever all like, oh, the 90s were the best and they weren't born in the 90s. Or the only people who go, oh, the 2000s is the best and they weren't born in the 2000s are the people who, if you literally divide their age by two, it's single digits, aka people who've just been born like a decade ago. Anyways, it's like as much as I love the 2000s and am fond of things that happened back then, I know damn well I would never want to go back. As much stuff that I love, I know there was a lot of stuff there that just was not for me. <laughs> what is this video? What am I talking about? I don't really know. Oh, I was talking about my childhood. It was rose-tinted glosses while looking at my childhood. Even though I know for a fact that if I went back there, I would still be sad. Essentially, what, I, what I'm trying to say is that college, at least for me right now, and I'm making memories, and I feel like it's the first time in my life where I genuinely feel like I can look back and I can be like, yeah, I think I would like to relive this moment. And that's why I'm trying to take every moment and soak it up and be in the moment instead of being in my childhood wishing I was in the future already. As much as I, as much as childhood will forever probably be a tender thing for me, I know when I was in that state when my childhood was still the present, I know I wasn't happy. And even if things aren't working out 100% as I would have hoped they would be currently, I think I am happy. And I think I will look back on these times with fondness. I just, I don't know what's, what's next. The world's not fair. I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> I'm going off on a tangent. I, I don't know what I'm talking about at, at all. I just... I, I, I don't know what I'm doing. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I know what I'm good at. But what I'm good at is not primarily... Lucrative. <laughs> Unfortunately, and I would rather be financially stable than have fun. I sound like my dad. Which is not a good sign. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I do still have time. Whatever that m might mean. I mean... I know I was saying that back when I was eight. You know what's crazy? I still remember a conversation. I was uh, a joke that I had made to a friend of mine's mother when we were like in the cubby when she had like j just dropped him off or something. And I forget. I don't remember what what the conversation was, but I made a joke. I think I said something along the lines of, "Oh, just let me drive him from from school, and I'll pick him up or whatever." And I was like eight at the time. And she was like, oh, do you have your driver's license, little man, or something like that? I was like, yeah, in 10 years, obviously, like when I was when I would be 18. And it's like, damn, 10 years was such a long time ago to me back then. But now and I've I've surpassed that. And it's like, fuck. I remember back when I didn't even think I would reach the age of 10 let alone 18. I was talking to a friend the other day, and he was like, yo, in three years, we're going to be 25. A part of me went, hell yeah. At least I'll finally be attracted to women my own age. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had, to, I had to throw a joke in there. I had to throw a joke. But then, like, another part of me was like, damn. Not in like a, damn, we're getting old, but it's all like, I remember 
fuck, I remember when that shit used to feel so far away. Now it's just three years? Huh. A part of me is happy, and a part of me is also kind of sad. You know, I... You see these concepts of people overly identifying with stages in their lives. You know, people who overly identify with being a teenager. People who overly identify with being 20. People who overly identify with being college students. Uh, I mean, you can look at TikToks or you can look at people's tweets and you can see those people who overly identify with like being a teenager or being like a minor or whatever. And you see those people like posting videos or stuff like that. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. This isn't funny. No, it is. These people are fucking weird. Who are all like, oh my gosh, I'm 19. I'm about to be 20. I'm not going to look as young as I used to. Yeah, you and everybody else, sis. It's called aging. Grow up, honestly. Or you'll see these people who, like, you know, the people who peaked in high school always, like, posting about their high school wins and all. It's like, girl, please. You're 32 with three kids. Stop posting about being prom queen of 2012 to the high school jock. Your husband is an accountant, and he loves you. Please. It's embarrassing. (laughs) But it's things that are ever-changing. It's putting these imaginary values on things that won't last. You're not going to be a teenager forever. I mean, that's probably the shortest period of your life, if you think about it, really. Because you're 20 starting at 20, and it ends at 29. That's nine years. But you're not a teenager until the 13th. (laughs) I mean, you're not a teenager at 10 or a teenager at 11 or a teenager at 12. You're a teenager at 13, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And then some people, I mean, some people don't even consider 18 or 19 a teenager. So technically speaking, you're only a teenager for five years. (laughs) You know, like, what are you overly identifying with that for? Like me, I'm 20. I do, uh, excuse me, I'm 22. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I don't give a, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to still be me at 30 fucking six. I'm sorry, I'm getting loud. I'm going to still be me at 40 fucking four. I mean, if I even make it that far, which, uh, you know, me now and currently, that, that seems fine. That seems good me a year ago nigga <laughs> kill me now <laughs> oh my god me a few me a few weeks ago kill me now please give me poison i will drink all of that shit i will down it in one gulp but even if i don't overly identify with being a 20 year old or excuse me what 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 are what do we usually say 20 somethings or Even if I don't overly identify with being a college student, college party, college life is so fucking sick. Or any of those things that will not last. They will change. I won't be like this forever. I think the thing that scares me the most is that I am having lots of fun. And you do hear about those people who also had that fun in childhood and things changed during middle school or you do hear about those people who had lots of fun in high school then things changed or you do hear about those people who had lots of fun in college and then things changed i think for me what's scary is that i'm kind of scared that am i having lots of fun right now and is it only uh is the I was about to say pre-catalyst, but I I believe the word is just precursor or, or catalyst. Is it a precursor to a slump? <laughs> oh, time, you absolute fucking bastard! You are. I guess time will only can only tell. 
Well, but I don't know what you do in the future, Eve. Talking to myself right now, but whatever you do, I hope it makes you happy. And <laughs> I hope you ple- I hope you take care of me <laughs> because we need it. Anyways, it's been justice. Eve, and I'll see you lot later. Peace. I love you guys. I'm sorry. Was that too weird? I'm editing the video. Bye!